<laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pick Six with John and Nick. I'm back. John's here, and I am back. Hopefully, hopefully, you guys enjoyed uh, the Macho Man and Jake the Snake last week. Yeah, I took a week off. It was nice to uh, take a break, and luckily, Jake the Snake didn't feed me a humble pie. Oh, hey! Oh. hey oh. Aaron you know who totally called uh, uh, Bill Belichick playing possum last week was the Macho Man. Macho Man totally yeah, called it. He knows what's up because that's exactly what he did. Oh man, he just dangles the the carrot in front of other teams, and he's gonna it's gonna be January, and they're gonna pound the Ravens. Finally. Although I will say, I feel like um, after this week, Tom Brady wants to retire. There was all this talk last week about when he was gonna retire, about his contract and everything. Then he lo- lays an egg. Loses to the Baltimore Ravens. He's already retiring, folks. You heard it here. If first. you're a Jets or a Dolphins fan, you can stop holding your breath. <laughs> it's not confirmed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get into this week. Uh, John and I were both 2 and one last week. Neither one of us saw a black cat, which totally boned the Giants on Monday night. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get going. As always, we're going to pick an underdog, a favorite, and a total. Yes. Jake the Snake, a.k.a. John, started off last week, so I'm going to go first, and we are starting in the SEC. Oh, baby. Biggest college football game of the year. Definitely. We have the LSU Tigers, number one, playing the Alabama Crimson Titan in Alabama. Number two. I can't wait for this number game. Three. Number two. They're number two. LSU is 13-4-1, their last 18 SEC games. I called this last week with Belichick playing possum. Here's the thing. I think Nick Saban knows that LSU is better and I don't think he's going to play two of the full game. That way, if it's close uh, and they lose a close one, everyone that votes for it to say, well, if they would have had two, it would have been a good ooh, game. Man. And that's the, that's the only thing I'm going off. This will be close. LSU has looked so much better this year. Um, they're the number two passing team in the country. Did you know LSU has only scored 10 points in the last three meetings with Alabama? Wow. Might be coming up on my next one for total. But give me the LSU Tigers plus six against Alabama. Count it. I'm going to go to another top 10 team and the Georgia Bulldogs. They got me last week. Those Bulldogs got the half a point. Made me 2-1. and one. But they're hosting the good old Mizzou Tigers. Home state of Missouri. St. Louis boy. Missouri is given 17 on this one. I think Georgia just isn't as good as they used to be for some reason. They did win a close game even last week against Florida. Um... Missouri is 5-1 and one against the spread. But not close enough that Florida covered, for the record. Yeah, man. I, I can skip me a half a point. <laughs> Missouri is 5-1 and one against the spread um, versus Georgia in their last six. They're 9-0 and oh in their last nine in November. 12-0 and oh in the last 12 in week 11. I mean, I'm pulling random stats out wow. of here. Uh, just Shout to, out, stats and information just department. Just to help my cause. So... I don't think that the Missouri Tigers are going to lose by more than 17. So give me Missouri Tigers at Georgia Bulldogs plus 17. Count it. Is that the R word? <gasps> that is the risky pick of the week, folks. Risky for you. Pick of the week. Give it to them. You're welcome. Give it to them. You're welcome. 17 points. That's a lot. That's I great, so. okay. I can get. I can get down with that. You know what usually comes after a week of us using a lo- using a lot of stats to build our case? We lose. We lose, and we have to fade ourselves <laughs> the following week and all the stats. We should. But just, not this week. We should just go by our guts, which I is a part of my gut. That's that one. So. Yeah. Well, you heard my saving conspiracy. That's right. I like it. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we're going to totals here. I'm sticking with LSU Alabama. Everyone's going to watch this game. It's the best game of the year that we've had so Has far. Um, the total of this is 65. That's right. It's my dad's age, I think. Somewhere in that oh, ballpark. Shout out to his dad. <laughs> shout out to 65. Doug if Holmes. not, don't watch this. Uh, seven of the last nine games have gone under. Like I mentioned, LSU has only scored 10 points in the last three meetings. They got blanked at home last year. This LSU team's different. Yeah. They got Joe Brown. Oh. Two is playing. But it's still going under. That's okay. right. I don't think two is going to play the whole game. This is Tuesday, so he might. But I think it's going to be lower scoring, 65. I do think it'll be more points in some of those old slugfests from back in the day. But give me LSU Alabama under 65. Count it. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, we're going over under. So, oh, God. Okay, talk about oh, – we're just talking about fading ourselves and using all these stats for this one. Nope. One stat, one gut. That's me. 
So I'm going to Wisconsin against Iowa. Are you kidding me? An over-under with 38? An over-under? Under 40? Get out of here. Uh, one stat I'll give you. Uh, Iowa's 7 of the last 10 have, on the road have gone over. Come on. Of course. It's going to go over. It's 38 points. Wisconsin... I don't even know what they're ranked anymore. I don't care. It's my gut. 38 points. Give it to me. Wisconsin, Iowa, <laughs> over 38. Count it. But if you go where you got, don't cows have like eight stomachs? Imagine wow. if they went with their gut. Which one? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Which one do you trust? <laughs> now, they That's don't even lot. have one to like, well, what? this one's three, this one's two. So uh, They need a ninth gut yeah, just... to, for the tiebreaker when they make that decision. <laughs> I, blame that, I blame that part of my gut. <laughs> All right. Uh, back on track here. Here we go. All right. We're going to Pittsburgh. Steelers look pretty good with uh, oh. Mason and Rudolph this yeah, week. Yeah. Who uh, they play? Indianapolis. They played Indy. Uh, Who lost to jo- Jacoby Brissett? Get out of here. Yeah. If they would have won, it would have been a totally different game if you didn't exit. Most likely. Uh, the Los Angeles Rams are coming to town. They're a oh. three and a half point favorite coming mm-hmm. off a bye. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have hammered the Rams as a favorite historically you on have. this show. You really uh, have. I would say somewhere around four or five games that I've probably hit three or four of those at least, if not all five. You love the Rams I might have to look back. I like them in spots. I like them off the bye. I think they're getting better. Uh, they they covered early this season. They had a couple games they looked terrible. Um, but here's a couple fun stats for you. Give LA, 6 0 against the spread, last six road games. They love playing on the road. Mm. Can't imagine why. Probably because the Coliseum sucks. Sucks. Still sucks. <laughs> and they're 8 2 against the spread, the last 10 games as a favorite. So they like being the favorites. That's right. But mostly I like taking teams off a of bye. I, I don't want to mm. necessarily lay the hook on the three, so maybe buy it down a half point. But I do like the Rams. I think they win by four or five. Maybe buy it down to three. But I'm taking the Rams minus three and a half as the. Lock of the week! Lock of the week! LA Rams, minus three and a half at the Steelers. Count it. Uh, maybe the Rams should go to London if they're so good on the road. Yeah, I feel like London actually has a lot of Rams that live there. Yeah, so they. Ireland. Would, it would be fitting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where am I going now? I'm going to go to a team that I've never chosen before. Um, you could, could have been the risky pick of the week, but. It's only here I am, top ten team, undefeated. Two weeks ago I chose the Penn State Nittany Lions, who covered like I predicted. This week I'm going for the Baylor Bears versus the TCU Horn Frogs. Now, if you look at a lot of the stats, it fades going towards the Horn Frogs. Like they're seven and three in the last ten against the Baylor Bears. The Baylor Bears are undefeated. They're ranked number eight. I mean, are they moving up at 7? Are they going to get to it? Uh, Baylor Bears are obviously undefeated, so they're 10-0 in their last 10. TCU is 6-12 in their last 18 games against the spread. TCU is 2-4 in the last 6 straight up. And of those losses, none has been less than... Only one has been less than 7 points. So give me, Nick, the Baylor Bears. Minus 2 against TCU. Horn frogs. Got it, dude. <laughs> You're like the Rain Man this week, dude. Wow, yeah, I know. All these stats. I, I don't know. know if you've ever had this many stats. Seriously, I was working this afternoon. I was like, let me just get out of the picture, stats. I just picture like the Zach Galifianakis gift with all the things. <laughs> uh, that's all the show for this week. Uh, riding hot off a combined four and two week last week. Yes. Uh, and well, sorry, our friends Macho Man and Jake the Snake oh, yeah. were. Uh, make sure to follow Handlebar TV on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to us on YouTube. We have more fun videos. And make sure to check Handlebar TV out next Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific. We have our first Epic Adventure Night Dungeons and Dragons live role play game for the next few weeks. Awesome. If you like that, it's pretty cool areas. Don't mind me saying. Uh, I don't mind. Should be a good time. So thanks again for watching. Uh, may you make a lot of money. Yeah. And send some to us. And you will. <laughs> See you next week. Peace. <laughs>